Morning everyone, I am back in the car as per usual, starting my vlog with Tim. The Morning. only difference this time is we aren't actually driving because we've already arrived at our destination. We are back at Topaz Detailing, still with some of the same cars outside, um, for day two of your car preparation thing. So yeah, what's happening? Yeah, <laughs> what's happening today? <laughs> so yes, yesterday was all the detailing, the cleaning, the detailing, getting the paintwork looking nice. Today is the start of paint protection. So when the oh. clear film goes over all the car to protect it, so that when we go off on the road trips, it's not going to get destroyed because that paint job costs a lot of money. So we're basically okay. So we're yeah, okay. So today is the film. And if I reach into the back, yeah, we we've got them. number plates. Oh yes, we sticker do. Sticker plate, <laughs> sticker plate, and number plate in there yeah. as well. But yeah, so very exciting. I'll try and film all the different steps and get Tim or someone else to sort of walk me through it so that then I can explain it to you but you know if you want all the technical side of things you can always go watch this man's videos you've put videos up yeah around about now as well haven't you probably yes <laughs> <laughs> we expect so it's all very confusing but yeah so let's head on inside see what they're doing with the car now and uh, yeah see what they work on So we're now in Topaz, and uh, Tim and I are waiting here to basically film one of the... Is this the first step we're doing today? I've been inside editing yeah, most so of this we're, time. Yeah, so we're paint detection filming. Okay. Um, getting ready to put different bits on. I am going to film what we're doing now as well, mm -hmm. actually. Next up, the slip solution goes onto the surface of the paintwork. This means that when the film is back rolled, you put on, you can move it around, get it positioned perfectly. I always think it's quite funny when you see the film looking like this, one and a half end up. When that's lined up, use a squeegee to screen your DSS. Liquid. That's when we'll hold while the rest of it. You're like freaking David Attenborough. <laughs> <laughs> David Attenborough, favorite technique. Yeah, it's like, it's like, as he's doing this, like, well, now it's gonna hold, and now you can maneuver the main piece. <laughs> so, Tim. And a few other boys from Topaz and I have come to McDonald's. And Tim's wide, how cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> so it's our little break. <laughs> it's our little break while uh, the car is sort of drying or something. Right, we're back from a lovely McDonald's lunch. Um, and Tim and I are now looking at the car. They're about to wrap the roof, but before they do that, we're trying to figure out where Tim's going to put his license plate. So the one disadvantage with the spec I've done is that I ordered the track telemetry pack. Which is insanely cool. It's insanely cool. So I can do filming of where I'm driving with overlays and it saves it all through a V-Box system. So this is wonderful. The disadvantage is, is the UK number plate is about this big. So if I put it here, it would hang into this space. And I yeah. think that looks totally messy. No, you want, want it to look clean, don't the you? The other way you can do it is stick it on here, um, which I think also looks a bit weird. So I got a legal reflective sticker plate. Um, and it because, will fit under here. Yeah. So because I've got this, um, my short number plate, this is completely legal. You have to have this much space around it. It has to be um, reflective material. Mm -hmm. um, and this should fit just in here. You might have to do the tiniest of Which, if I was sure like that, yeah, <laughs> it will look cool. Look. You know what it looks like? It really looks like a Monaco plate because yeah. it's so tiny. And put it here. Problem solved. <laughs> yeah, no, that would be, yeah, but it doesn't look as good. It's no, nice no, no. if it's centered. Cool. Yeah. I, bought, I bought a symmetrical number plate, I can jolly well. Exactly. <laughs> have you told the internet the story behind your plate? I don't think I ever have, actually. Well, well maybe just, I have. Yeah. If you imagine it in a mirror, it basically looks like it's, the same thing the other way around. Exactly. It's kind of like a TV backwards. Tim Burton for your name. Yeah. There you go. What have we wrapped so far? We've wrapped the front here, the bonnet, the doors. It's done. It's actually interesting. You can see that the, um, it, it, the edges haven't been folded yet, so you can see that there is film there. Yeah. But if you like compare, I mean, I'm not even sure this panel's done, but this isn't done. You can't tell. You have no idea. You can't tell. <laughs> this is why these guys are the best in and the it business. And looking like this nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, but we're getting, we're getting a, you know, some good stuff done. It's going fairly quickly, so we're happy bunnies right now. Um, but the car does still look fantastic. I can't stress that enough. Welcome to the ice cream. Yeah, yeah, I know it's slippy, isn't it? <laughs> is this one of the easiest or hardest parts to do? It's relatively straightforward. Yeah, because it's, it's pretty flat. It's and and obviously, because you've got the compound curve, which is curved. Yeah, this yeah, way. yeah. And this way, it just requires a little bit of stretch. Yeah, absolutely. And the material is probably about three quarters of an inch shorter than it needs to be. But you need to stretch it out yeah, a bit. Yeah, you need to stretch it out to get rid of all the excess. Because they're all sort of tailor cut to this car, aren't Everything's they? Pre uh, everything's sort of um, patterned for this car, yeah. It's okay. all bespoke for this car. 
And funny enough, the, the parts that we do use are all for the roof are off um, a 12C. Oh, oh, yeah, so because it's yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. It's oh, interesting. Room. There you go, fun fact, guys. Fun fact of the day. And the, the doors are off a 650. Yep. The mirrors are off the same as the P1 mirrors. Oh, I didn't know that either. The P1 mirrors. Okay, we okay. 675. There we go, full of fun facts. But yeah, it looks amazing. Tim and I are a bit worried about how hot the plate will get next to the exhaust. If you remember on the last tour, his license plate fell off about 95 times. Um, but yeah, exciting stuff. So Tim and I are basically overgrown children. So we've decided to come outside and try the airboard out and kill a bit of time while we're waiting for them to install the next panel on the LT. So there is, show us your skills, show us your, oh. Look at him go. Straight away. I think I had one in the vlogs of the one I had in LA. Sadly, I don't want, uh, <laughs> I don't have one here with me. But yeah, look, Tim's a, I'm gonna do one of those really artsy skateboarder shots where I'm like down by your feet, like whoosh, and back up again. Nice. That's what we like. <laughs> Tim's putting our toy away, but I thought I'd show you the fact that we put the wing up um, the same way it would be if you used as an air brake. If you slammed on the brakes, it would go up to this angle. But then also, we've opened the engine bay so you can see all the carbon. So there's McLaren on that side and 675T on that side. They're held up by a carbon strut. You open it with two little screws on the side. Um, really light, pretty epic, really. Um, and yeah, what else is open? The boot's open. If you want to see it in the boot, there's just the cover. So yeah. Getting along nicely, they're cutting up the next few pieces to do these big fenders here, I think. Yeah, all cool stuff. Love the GT4. Tim and I are being productive, we've decided. Um, what are we doing? We are trying to. Try the best way to work out how to make this fit. Yeah. We explained earlier, I think, didn't we? We've got our ingredients. We have a pen, but did paper. We what we we're to do yes, it yeah, yeah. We're okay. going to try and yeah. cut it a tiny bit around the camera. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Oh, we've got. Give me the diameter. I'll circle on the computer. You can stick it over your number and cut hole in it. That oh. is exactly what I just suggested. Oh, yes. oh, yes, we thought of that. Yes, high we five. We actually did though. Yes. Like, I Boom. Explained. That's why I got the room. Let's get it down. We've done something yeah. apart from just paying for everything. <laughs> Measurements yeah, have very happened. Technical. Very technical. being technical. Yeah. Look at what Tim and I have drawn. We've managed to measure what we need to do. We're getting there. We're getting there. Teamwork. Well, I'm actually just filming while you do the work, but in my mind, it's teamwork. It's mindset. Good chat, good chat. Let's do that again sometime. This is such a good looking GT4. How's, how's the cutting doing? It's alright, I've got to work it out. That's a square. You yeah, need a circle. Did you circle. realize that? You can do a diamond one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we need a circle. Tim, a circle is the thing like, it's like this. So, okay, good. Fantastic. Cut it nicely though. Did you take art at school? I probably did actually. Oh, there we go. That's a solid. <laughs> Are paying off. Who thought your art class would pay off to cut off your license plate thing in your for your McLaren? I did. Learned. I knew that when I went to art. Oh, I'm not cutting the circle very well. <laughs> Maybe you didn't take so art. What the hell is that? That's like a, a raindrop. <laughs> yeah. Show us what you've done. We've marked it out. We've got the right size: 35 mil width, 12 and a half mil down. It's going to yeah. be a perfect fit. We've got my rubbish circle. It's kind of square. Yeah. We're going to we're going to plot using the computer a proper circle. Yes. And then Whoa, we're going to work. Done it. We've magic. done it. But we can't actually stick this on today. We've got to stick this on when the paint protection film sort of have time to settle in case anything needs to be changed. Oh, that's disappointing. That's yeah. five millimeters. The last time I was that disappointed was when my parents told me Father Christmas wasn't real. <laughs> the definition of concentration, right this here. This is hardcore. They are trying to get this line down. To exactly 22. That's what I do, 22. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, Are we that there? 22 and a half. Yes, that's precise enough. There we go. Now, don't move the uh, mouse, whatever you do. <laughs> no pressure. We're all watching. So, we're about to wrap the front bumper. Um, do you call it a bumper or splitter? Yeah, let me what grab this. Call it? Front splitter, a carbon oh. splitter. And here we've go. got the sort of parts, yeah. parts list. This has all been plotted out on the, uh, the roll that Gary's like a working from. 
It looks yeah. like the recipe for a transformer. And you can see we've got all the different shapes that make up different parts of the bumper. So this um, this bottom piece is the whole sort of bottom edge. Yeah. And above that we've got like the end plates. We've got yeah. the uh, these parts are like the veins that you can see. Yeah. Oh yeah, these ones. There, that you've vein. Also, you've also on that sheet. You've also got the on the top of the sheet. Yeah, yeah. The long ones. These bits. The ones that go oh, they're the side. Oh, they're the side yeah. seals. They're the side yeah. seals. And then you've also got the big ones at the end here. They're like the tunnels. Those are inside the air vents, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, and these are the little carbon. Oh, the little the shields. Yeah. Those little air vents. Yeah. Right yeah. So I get there. Yeah. Okay. Well, we were also just saying that with the sort of with the liquid on it, it looks like gloss carbon. And how much? I mean, I well, personally gloss carbon, looks, gloss carbon looks nice. It does. I prefer the, the satin carbon. The though. satin carbon effect against the. Um, Blue. The color. Yeah, <laughs> I had to think about it. Blue. That. Um, it does look good, but I think the satin carbon goes really nice with the satin finished wheels. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, all, all good I in think the hood. You're just saying that because you're biased. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. You get in trouble if you don't. Yeah, yeah. also, yeah. <laughs> I'll be sleeping you in the street if I. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's almost like showing a 50 50 how it's. Yes. Right, I am, well, zoomed in is what I am. They are pulling some of the cars in, so I thought I would. Oh! We're basically done here. The McLaren is in through here yeah, exactly. with Tim Tim. And um, so, what's the what's the situation on this bad boy? Uh, it's next week, sometime. I think. Oh, really? In, a, in about a month, it will be done, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're looking, we're looking, about, we're looking at about 2016 at the minute. Yeah, it's, it's good. This all we've done today is this little bit there. It's just this one piece of yeah. a bubble in it. Yeah, I know, right? Right? Oh, oh, oh! Tiny little bubble. I think no one's as perfectionist as you are, so they won't be able to hear that. But we're basically done, right? With the matte carbon stuff. Uh, so. Basically, the front's done, there's some stuff on that side done. Okay. So this tunnel's done. Yeah. So obviously, I'm going to remove this horrible hideous yes. gloss. So this gloss, that looks um, weird against the other satin yeah. carbon. Yeah, why you put gloss on a yeah, matte Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, no, it looks fantastic. I mean, I mean, you can't tell, really. It just looks cool. But. Um, yeah, long day, feeling quite tired, um, but yeah, successful day, I think. We're all pretty happy with the progress we've made. Right, lads, um, it's the end of the day now. Uh, we're all fairly tired. For some. Yeah, <laughs> for some. Um, these guys haven't finished, so these two legends are going to stay here and keep working on the car. Um, we need to head back um, pretty much now. We're feeling exhausted because we're back in the morning as well. But uh, yeah, you guys, thank you so, so, so much. You've done an amazing job. Um, I've shown you the car about 15 million times, but it still looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, it's been a really good day. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. We'll be back tomorrow with more of the car. Hopefully it will be finished as well. So please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I will see you very soon. Ciao. At that. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm so happy for you. Oh. There we go. Why don't you guys check this out? We've got some Alcantara leather, beautiful.